Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to send an image via SMS messaging. Now we'll be carrying on from our previous tutorials where I showed you how to take and load photos from your device into an image view. We also use this tutorial to post images to Facebook and Twitter and most recently how to send uh, an image via email. Now today we're working on showing you how to send an image via SMS messaging or text messaging on your device. So first things first we need to drag in a button, uh, place it on the opposite side and we'll make sure it's kind of the same size as our Twitter one. Now simply name the button SMS. Uh, we need to bring up our assistant editor and right click or, right -click or control click and drag that in and I make sure it's an action and named SMS. Nice and simple to understand. Now I'm going to close the assistant editor because there's a number of things we need to do before we start coding. Uh, seeing as we were carrying on from our previous tutorial, our message UI framework is already important, uh, imported. So if you haven't imported it just yet, you'll need to do so to um, send uh, messages uh, using SMS. So you can see here we have our UI message forward slash uh, MF mail composed view controller. That's for sending emails and now we need to do something very similar to uh, enable us to send uh, SMS messaging. And what we need to do is simply message uh, UI forward slash message UI dot H. So very simple there. Making sure I spelt it right, I believe I did. Oh, I've spelt, there we go. Let me just copy that and paste it there. Okay, so making sure you have spelt it completely right. Message UI forward slash message UI. Uh, there we go. And then once you've done that, we need to import or um, we'll add along here. We have MF mail composed view controller there. We need to add one for uh, in, to enable us to send uh, messages. So we need to do something very similar to that, but this time it's the message composed view controller delegate. Okay, and so once you've done that, we can jump over to our viewcontroller.m. And as you can see, along all our code here, uh, within the little section here, is our SMS section. So I'm going to enter, space it out so you can kind of clearly see what we're typing. So as we got before with our mail one there, it's kind of, let me just take this away. And then place it up here. So that was for our enable us our error messages for sending mail. So just like our email, we're going to have our option, well, our configuration to attach the image to our text message or MS, um, SMS message. And then we have our void statement for if anything error throws up or anything like that happens. And it's very similar to doing SMS messages. So uh, whereas the um, error I um, kind of set it to show up an alert. I'm going to do a different way for SMS just to show you the different ways you can you, um, kind of configure your error messages. But you know, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Okay, then, so to send an SMS message, we need to start by doing uh, MF um, M message compose view controller space asterisk. I'll simply name it text composer. Now it's very sim um, similar to um, a tutorial we did a while back where we just showed you how to send simple SMS messaging. Uh, it's kind of the same but the only difference is we're going to configure it a little bit more to attach um, images to the message. So we do space equals space there, uh, bracket bracket, uh, mf message compose and view controller again, uh, a lock space uh, init and have a bracket and a semicolon. And then we do bracket, uh, name of our um, composed view controller, which is text composer, space, set uh, message, um, compose delegate, and I simply put in there self, and that red bracket, and a semicolon. And then now we need to create an if, um, if statement. So if the uh, application can, or the your ad device can send a uh, SMS message, uh, do this, else, do this kind of thing. So what we need to do is if, and in the condition, uh, we need to do a bracket, uh, MF mail compose, uh, message compose uh, view controller, sorry, uh, can send text, and that array bracket and a semicolon. So if it can, in the statements, you do bracket text composer, uh, set recipients, and the NS array here, we do bracket NS array, space array with um, oh, array 
with uh, objects there we go and then we need highlight section here we simply just take it away and just leave it with nil and that with two um, brackets and a semicolon as we really don't want any um, already preset receptants in the um, box you can allow your users to add them freely from their own device and their contact list so next we do again we do text composer space set uh, body this will be the actual message um, of your message itself your text message so we do bracket ns string space string with format and the highlight section we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark so as well as sending images you can also send um, text um, with your in within the same message so you, I'll put in the word text there so when we come to send the message you can clearly see where that's been um, displayed in the message and there are two brackets and a semicolon and now this is where we add uh, the ability to um, attach a image to the text message so we do ns data space asterisk and I simply name it data uh, space equals space UI image uh, JPEG representation there uh, we do in the um, highlight section here the name of our image view from where our image is being held dot image and in the second highlight section we simply do the number one and then a bracket and a semicolon there and then we do bracket text composer add attachment data highlight section here we do um, type in data that's linked to our image view uh, in the next highlighted section here we do the kind of format of what the image is so it's an at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and remember this is case sensitive so make sure you got it correct so we do image forward slash jpeg or lowercase and then the name of our file well the file name so when they if they if they choose to save the image once you've sent it on uh, this is what the image will be saved under the file name of it so at symbol quotation mark quotation mark uh, simply name it image dot jpeg with the format and that with a bracket and a semicolon and then in the uh, next section here we need to uh, present the uh, so when we go to it we need it to present the um, view when it loads up so what we need to do here is bracket self present view controller in the highlight section here we do text composer animated yes completion no and there we um, semi um, colon there and then at the end of this bracket here we need to do else so else so if, it, if so what we're saying is basically if message can send do this else if it can't send bracket and a semicolon what we can do here differently from our um, well we didn't really ha add, add it onto our email um, message uh, mail system there so else if it can't what we're going to get it to do is just simply put in our ns log as we didn't we don't want the error to pop up um, two quotation marks can't send simple that will just show up in the little message section down here making sure we finish out with a bracket and a semicolon Okay then, so now once we've done that, oh, we've got an error thrown up there. Oh, we missed out the at symbol. How did I miss that out? Okay, there we go. So let me just get rid of these gaps here. So after that, we need, just like on our mail, we need to do a void statement for if any errors pop up or throw up that are going to cause any problems. So what we do is dash bracket void, and we do message compose view controller did finish with results. So what's going to happen if it fails or if it sends? Okay, so what we need to do then, oh, there we go. Uh, we need to simply do kind of like an, a case statement. So if we'd like to do like a, a switch kind of thing, if like kind of it gives us the options of what's going to happen. So we do switch, and in the expression here, we can simply write in result. Uh, case uh, message cancelled. So if the message cancelled, we're going to have it, uh, I can just simply copy and um, paste our ns log error here and instead of that saying there so if it was cancelled we're simply going to have it our ns log to simply say cancelled I'll copy this and paste in a second one this time if message failed 
we're simply going to have it to simply uh, say failed or if a message sent we'll simply have it say sent so that's another way where we have the alert that pops us telling us what happened this way we can control it what you can do once you know we can have individual actions per whatever happened to it okay so at the end of that we need to simply do dash self so no matter what happens we want it to dismiss the view anyway uh, so we simply do yes in the completion no and never bracket and a semicolon now as it's all really linked up in the uh, simulator and uh, I have an image saved in the photo library of the simulator itself uh, we just wait for the simulator to load up now so here we go can't take photos as I'm using the simulator I can only do it on a device so in the photo library add in this nice picture of the car that we've been using in the past tutorials click on the SMS message here now it's unable to send SMS messaging via the simulator but I will now get that to load up within uh, my device on my actual phone okay then so now as you can see I have my phone loaded up it's running on my phone now so if I added a image to the uh, image um, view there a picture of my mouse uh, if once I press my SMS option here You can see it loads up now. I can simply add a contact for my, my phone at my contacts list. I can see that the image has been imported into the message and I can still add, add text as well as um, see the current text that we already Im implemented in there. Uh, if I just simply press cancel, you can see now in our little um, NS log at the bottom, um, the result for cancel is simply say cancelled in NS log and it simply said cancelled there. So that's a way to treat the um, what happens with the results so that's simply how you send uh, images via MS, uh, SMS I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment and I really do hope that you've enjoyed the past few videos about sending images um, via all different um, forms of uh, media uh, so yeah, uh, make sure you like us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and uh, check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time in our next tutorial. Come on Bob, come on. Come on Bob. Oh, I got a little more pinky. I got a little more... No, it's not my pinky. I got a little more finger.